hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you thank you so much to everybody who have watched subscribed, and liked my videos um, so far today I have a very healthy one for you and I'm going to be making fried rice but instead of the rice I am going to be using broccoli and so um, watched until the end and I will show you step by step everything that I do to make this healthy meal so with this broccoli meal I am so with this broccoli fried rice in quotes I am going to be using chicken breast all right now my chicken breast has been cut washed and thoroughly thoroughly cleaned so I want to go ahead and saute my chicken breast and I'm also going to be adding some vegetables um while my chicken is being sauteed and so let's go right ahead and um start this cooking process don't mind my son in the background he's watching his game okay so to to my frying pan i have added two tablespoons of cooking oil any oil of your choice is okay all right and then i am going to go ahead and add my chicken breast all right and always remember to come in your kitchen with clean hands all right especially with what is going on now you don't want to take any chance and also when you come home from the grocery stores um just take a few moments and see if you can clean your your grocery your groceries that you bring home all right hopefully one of these days i will show you my method to cleaning um, the items that i take home all right so i have gone ahead and added my chicken breast to my pot now at this point i am going to add a few different spices all right so first i have some onion powder and i'm keeping my stove on medium all right you want to ensure that this meal is very flavorful all right because remember i'm using the cauliflower and i'm using the cauliflower and the cauliflower is basically tasteless okay so you want to go ahead and just ensure that this entire meal is quite flavorful that was some seasoned salt i just added all right i am also going to go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning to my chicken breast and as you can see i ensure that my chicken breast is cut very um small because i don't want it to overpower the cauliflower that I'll be using. I am also adding some oregano, not too much. I will also add some garlic powder and I'm eyeballing everything, right? So just about um, a teaspoon or half of a teaspoon of all of these ingredients. This is parsley flakes, my favorite. And I want to go ahead also and add just some brown black pepper. All right. And this chicken breast is going to be very, very easy to cook. Okay. So just turn it around. As you can see, the cooking process has started. Right, it's not pink anymore, but it is getting white, and that's okay. I have my stove on medium, so just go ahead, let me turn it up to a little bit over medium. All right, so just go ahead and allow your chicken yeah. to saute. Okay, as I said, this chicken breast is very, very easy to cook. Okay, so now this is some soy sauce any soy sauce of your choice is quite okay 
So you wanna add a little bit to this. If you notice, I have not added any salt. Be very, very careful because I have some seasoned salt and some all-purpose seasoning. Now both of these have salt, um, have a little bit of salt. So I don't need to add any table salt to my dish today, right? So I went ahead and I added a little bit of soy sauce because I am searching for a unique flavor. So even though I will add some soy sauce to the cauliflower, I also wanted to add a little bit to my chicken breast, all right? So it, all of the ingredients can come together in the end. Okay, that's good. This does not need anything anymore. Um, powder seasonings because I'm gonna have to add a little bit to my cauliflower, okay? Okay, and as I said, this is chicken breast. And this is very, very, very easy to cook, all right? Now, at this stage, what I want to do, I want to go ahead and I want to add some vegetables, all right? So, in my plate here, I have some carrots, I have um, bell peppers, yellow, orange, red, green, I have some onions, and I have one clove of chopped garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of these with my chicken breast. Okay. This is smelling so, so good. And look at the burst of flav um, colors, right? That's coming from all of the vegetables that I have added to my chicken breast. So good. Now, if you wanted to, right, you could honestly just stop here and have this right away, okay? But as I said, I want to go ahead and make my fried rice. But instead of using rice, I will use um, cauliflower today, all right? So I am going to leave this on medium. I will cover it and I am going to allow it to just cook, allow it to do its thing so that my vegetables can cook, all right? So I am just going to leave it right here and I'm going to get back to you and show you how I prepare my cauliflower. Okay, so while my chicken rice is cooking away, I have a, oh, if I could open this thing. Okay, so I have a ninja bullet, all right, that I use to make my smoothie. And one of these days, I am going to show you how I make a bomb protein smoothie, right? So I am going to be using my bullet and I am going to chop my cauliflower, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and empty my broccoli. And I think I'll do it in two parts, right? Because I want to ensure that the consistency is the same when I'm done, all right? Now with this um, with this portion of the, of the meal, it's gonna be up to you, right? So this one comes with a little a top like so. You put it on the top, you just press away, and you can basically chop anything that you wanna chop, all right? So as I said, uh, with this portion of the video, right, or of the menu, you can go ahead and you can chop um, the cauliflower as um, small as you like, all right? So this is going to be a matter of preference, okay? So I'm just going to go like pulsating uh, motions right here because I do not want them to be so um, small, all right? 
so i'm going to do my bro uh, my cauliflower and then i'm going to come back and let you see what it's looking like when i'm done okay so this is what uh, my cauliflower is looking like after i have used my bullet to chop it right looking just like rice okay and as i said before this is going to be an all-round healthy approach to fried rice okay so let me continue with the video and show you what i do next so my chicken breast is now done and look just look at this right colorful and i am telling you that it's also flavorful so what i'm going to do i am just going to dump this out in a plate and let it just sit while i do my other ingredients all right so i'm using this same pot see i'm using this same pot and i have some other vegetables over here that i also want to saute for for this dish all right i have some broccoli some zucchini i have some red peppers right here and i am also going to um add it so for this i want to go ahead and put just a small amount of butter in my frying pan Okay, so as I said before, I have celery, I have zucchini, I have broccoli, and I have some um, peppers, just for flavors, because these peppers are not hot at all, all right? So this also, I want to spice this a little bit, so I am going to go ahead and I will add some black pepper, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much, okay? I just wanna season as I go along. I'm going to put some onion powder. And I want to put a little bit of all purpose, of all purpose seasoning, okay? And that's it. So packed with a lot of vegetables, all right? What I'm going to do here also is add a little bit of my soy sauce. Because I want all of my flavors to come together, all right? And when I'm doing my fried rice, right, if I was using rice, I would use, um, you know, scrambled maybe two eggs or an egg depending on the amount. But today I won't do that because I have the chicken and I think that's enough protein, right, for my dish. So I am just going to let this saute for a little bit and then I will get on to cooking my cauliflower. So because I want um, my zucchini and my broccoli to still have that crunch, okay, I am going to go ahead and take this off because when I add it to my cauliflower, it's still going to cook. So I am going to just take this off and dump it in a plate also and let it rest until I put everything together. Right, so I'm going to dump this one. Here you go. And I am going to go ahead now and prepare prepare my cauliflower. Alright, so I have a large frying pan right here. Let me turn this up so it can warm up a little bit. Let it warm up and then I will continue cooking this meal. Okay, so while my frying pan is heating up, I am going to go ahead and add a generous amount, maybe two tablespoons 
of um, butter because I want to ensure that I have enough grease in my pan to ensure that my cauliflower will not stick and also I am trying to get all of the flavors here um, that I can possibly get okay just like that now I am turning up my stove all right because this one be very careful also because the cauliflower can generate um, a lot of um, liquid okay so please be very careful with this one all right okay so now I am going to go ahead and I am going to dump my cauliflower look at it see just like rice and this was two small heads of cauliflower all right, so depending on your family size, you can go ahead and decide how much you want to to um to make, all right? And this is a meal also, if you're a person who meal prep, like myself, you can go ahead and make this meal and just basically share out what you want and you can take it to work with you. Or... So while my cauliflower is cooking away, I am going to go ahead also and I am going to season, um, season it, right? So to this, I will add some onion powder. Remember that everything that I've done so far, two sets of um, vegetables and chicken, I have seasoned that, all right? So I've just added some onion powder. I am going to go ahead and add some garlic powder. And to the two medium size um, broccoli heads, I am adding like just a, a teaspoon of each, all right, of these spices. That was garlic powder. Now I'm going to put some seasoned salt. Remember, this is tasteless, guys, right? Seasoned salt. I'm going to put some parsley. Parsley flakes. I will put some oregano. And I am going to go ahead and also do a little bit of black pepper. Okay, and you can hear the sizzle. Whoa. This is looking nice and it is smelling great. Okay, and I would love for you guys to go ahead and try this. And even if you're not a vegetarian, because I am not, but as I said, I'm not really particular, you know, about trying, trying something new. Not everything I can assure you, especially because I am living in Japan and I'm still trying to get used to some of the dishes that are out in town. But for something like this that I know, because I always just boil it or saute the, the cauliflower and just eat it like that, all right? So I always tell my son he likes french fried chicken but hates other types, right, of chicken. No curry, no brown stew, no nothing. Only french fry. But I always say to him, it's the same chicken. All right? So that's the message that I want to bring across right here. Okay? If you are the type of person who just likes to boil your cauliflower and eat it like this, try this one. All right? Try it. So I will continue to tear it up right until it is at a consistency right and it is looking translucent and then I know that my cauliflower is done all right so I am going to let this I'm just going to continue to stir it stir this up all right and let it cook for a few minutes before I add 
all the other ingredients that I've cooked before. Now my, my cauliflower has been cooking for about five minutes. So at this point, I wanna go ahead and I want to add some more soy sauce, okay? Just like you were doing the fried rice. If you have sesame oil, you can go ahead and add it also. This gives it a nice color, all right? And it also add flavor, all right? And the salt content is just right when you use the soy sauce, all right? So now my fried cauliflower, okay, is not looking as white as it was before because I have added my soy sauce. Let me give it a taste test. Just right. Just right, it has the right amount of crunch because you don't want this to get too soft, all right? You still want that crunch there. Now at this moment, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add the ingredients that I have used, um, cooked before. For example, my chicken, all right? And if you notice, my chicken has a little bit of juice and this one is dry. So that's what, why I didn't want to add any oil, just a little bit of butter to this so it can saute, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add this chicken, all right? Okay, mommy, we're gonna make birthday party for you, okay? Okay, all right. So, look at this, guys. Yes, I'm coming, Charlie. Mommy, hmm? it. Okay, okay, I'm coming, okay? Okay, that was Mr. Challen. All right, so, look at this, all right? And then, I will also go ahead and add all of the other vegetables that I have sauteed, all right? So for all of my vegetarian friends, please go ahead and try this one, okay? I guarantee you will not regret it. Healthy, simple, Okay, and you may also even have different ways of putting this meal together, but that's okay. Please share your thoughts and your ideas with me. Okay, look at that. Need no egg, it doesn't need anything else. All right, and as I said before, this is perfect if you're a person who meal preps. Okay, this is perfect. All right, if you're having a party also, and you have vegetarian friends, this is something that you can prepare for them. Okay. This is going to be very, very, very enjoyable. Look at this, guys. And that is why I love to cook so much. It takes my brain and my mind of any foolishness that is going on around me, right? I just lose myself in my kitchen, right? And I experiment with different ingredients, all right? So everybody has his own way of escaping. This is my way of escape, all right? making wonderful meals like this one. Let me give it another taste. This is very, very delicious. Honestly, so, so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more parsley flakes on it. Mm. 
this is so so good very nice all right so that's it guys that's it that's it for this meal all right this is my fried fried rice but instead of using rice i am using cauliflower all right and i did not use any egg but what i went um i did i added chicken breast instead so once again guys thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my subscribers so far share like comment on my videos okay so until the next one no big up on yourself all right